darkness, really? <sighs> Fine. Welcome everyone to another edition of VW Worldwide. I'm of course uh, Mr. Robert McNichol. Um, I think I'm going to be doing this solo, but I think we're going to get some help out here. But we're only here for one for one match, and unfortunately, it's one match I've been dreading to hear ever since AfterShock 50 in Newcastle. Oy. This is not going to be fun. Because our only match here tonight is Chef Hatchet, Chris McLean's hired on hitman, is going head to head with Hit Kid Worldwide in a no holds barred contest. Yay. Well, here we go. And remember, this was a straight response from Chris after what James did when he called so-called Pandora's Box the open and after Doc 50, where he said he will face action, he wants action again. But this time he said, and I quote, if he wins, get a match with McLean where both his VW contract and Chris's VW contract are on the line. Whoever loses is gone. But there's a caveat. If Needham loses to Hatchet at, at, the, at the event, he's he out. So that means one way or the other, Cricket McLean has a chance to try to get rid of one of the Needham brothers. Or maybe both, depending on what's going to be happening here in just a few minutes. Because Chris did try to throw a curveball at Aftershock 50, going out, bringing Chef Hatch to bounce on Needham. But we were pre prepared for Hit Kid to come barging in there with a baseball bat. And again, we weren't prepared for what Chris said afterwards. Hit Kid, the all the props in the world, he knew the risks when he ran down to help out his brother. So, if he's going down, he'll definitely go down swinging. Here comes the bastard himself. The near seven foot tall, 400 pound monster that is under the corrupt cut's pocket. He says he's former uh, former marine or whatever, but I don't I don't believe it for a millisecond. But nothing to say. This is an animal. He's an animal who was hired by Chris McLean to do one thing and one thing only. Protect his ass. Tonight he got marching orders to slaughter one Florida hit kid before he could finish the job with James. Yeah. This is not going to be a pretty fight. This is going to get nasty. But this is all to send a message to James Needham that come to pay, come to see the event. They fight again, no holds barred. It will be Needham's last night in virtual wrestling, and it will be Chris's night. just even being here. What's been going on lately with DWU? Kind of fair enough. AJ, I feel sorry for you. Here we go. And already, Hit Kid throwing in the punches as much as he can. I don't blame him. But unfortunately, God! That's it. Who, who outweighs Hit Kid, mind you, by nearly over 300 pounds and, get, and takes over two feet of height can easily is easily manhandling this. This is nothing more than a, this is nothing more than management having a fight with each other. But honestly, when it's considered it's James Needham and Chris McLean, it's kind of seems fit because we know from history's past, Chris McLean has thought it out for not only Hit Kid but for James as well. Not only screwing Needham out of multiple UW DCA World Title title shots but just constantly treating him like the dog shit he is, saying it's all his fault. Ah, guts. Spinning side slam. And Needham has stated that no, that no matter how hard he tries, he will try to get rid of McLean, but that's easier said than done because, like d -Wall has stated, Chris has got an ironclad contract. Unless he does something 
really stupid in DCA, it ain't gonna happen. And that's the that's the loophole. Just <laughs> snake eyes. Well, unfortunately, I have come oh. in. Roman. Good. Yeah, good to see you there, Roman. Well, yeah, I don't this, think it, this ain't good circumstances. No, considering the fact of considering the fact that the all the keys in play between the Needhams and Chris, this is just this is nothing good. This is just a this is just a message sent to Needham that when when the pay per view comes and that rematch happens, they are literally going to end the Needham brothers for good in VWU. That's how bad it is. Oh, God, on the barricade. It could maybe a tough little bastard, but this is ridiculous. Oh, this is this is the one of the re main reasons why the VW faithful been wanting, no, no, not wanting, begging for Chris to t to take a hike and leap and get fired. But unfortunately, D. Wall says it's true. He has not done anything illegal, wrong, or ramified in the realms of DCA or VDCA. Sure, he's caused hell in WWE, but that's the point. Well, he's kind of fitting. Hit needs this. It's going to have to use every weapon he can, because at this point, you're not beating Chef Hatcher. No. All you can do is just try to beat him. Too many can to put some damage to this near seven foot, four hundred pound animal under Chris's pocket. Oh god, not again! By the way, oh. Chef Hatcher is seven foot, three hundred and ninety pounds. Yeah, and he's a former a former marine, which I don't believe any way, shape, or form. Oh no, this is confirmed. This is confirmed. That man served time. That says Which a lot, honestly. The man that, that literally... Oh, no. Ah! God! Samoan driver. Um, I, feel like, I, feel like that's, I feel like that's an insult to Rikishi. But here's the bad part about what it says he is. Actually, has the same tools that he does. And remember, this is a warm-up for Hatchet before Endgame when he faces Needham in the rematch in the no in the rematch from rematch from a from if I remember correctly, uh, Redemption when he got screwed. He beat Chef Hatchet, then he got then he got humiliated by by Chris. Revelation. Oh, oh you're right, it was Revelation Seven, my apologies. Ah oh, god! And his brother was outweighed by over a hundred pounds, but this this, this is this is ridiculous. Insane. Yeah, yeah. Even though it is a rematch, this thing has been going on longer than than when Chef Hatchet first appeared. This has been going since Gateway to Heaven two years ago, when Needham got unroyally screwed out of the Gateway to Heaven ladder match, which Arcane won to capture the DCA World Title. And on along the way, Needham did over some people along the way. So, I mean, there are going to be some who don't feel bad. Case in point, yeah, there's been a lot of people who, unfortunately, hit, uh, fortunately, James Needham uh, has pissed off. One, of course, uh, a, a one being, of course, one Michael Conley. And then one Cortez family who probably at this point, while they would understand what's going on, I wouldn't be surprised if he feel bad. Yeah, to, to like, right now, oh, he should, yeah, he actually just, in, just enduring the punishment. That kid is, just, is judging like a stuck hog. Remember, this is all under the, oh, oh no, not again, no, no! On the chair. It's this kid is tough, This, this is, 
this match could have ended earlier, but no, this is under the rule. The arms of, of Christmas asshole. He is sending a message that he will make sure that the Needles do not live to see another day in VW. Whether it's getting rid of James, either at Endgame or at Gateway to Heaven, or getting rid of him kid tonight! And unfortunately, we can't do anything because as Chris stated, oh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph! This is how we spend Christmas. This is how we have to spend our Christmas. Yeah, this is very joyful. My ass! He's just trying to fight back with all he's got here. Now he's got the bat. Honestly, I feel like he wants to be like, be like Aaron Judge and swing. I think this is best energy. Honestly, you better disregard your dis Jesus Christ, he just hit his own legs against that paper. And still landed the frog splash on the chef action. There you go. Yeah. Go, go after the legs. Apart. Make it. Take them apart. That's the best yeah. choice you got. That's all you can do. Specifically, go after the legs. Get rid of the power. Get rid of the vertical base. Play it down to your level. That's what you got to do. And remember, win, lose, or draw, James Needham will still have Chef Hatchet at Endgame. Endgame, where if he wins, he will get a match against Chris McLean, where both their VW contracts are on the line. What you just mentioned earlier, that ironclad contract thing is going to come into play. Yeah, that's the thing because because that ironclad contract is stayed that way, but for only DCA. So that means he can do whatever he damn well pleases and feed up you! Case in point! It could get rid of him in the rest of you. Might not get rid of him in DCA for all we know. That's the only issue, unfortunately. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. I mean, let's we forget. Of course, Nina got his own issues to deal with. Case in point, he's got a double title. He's got a title for title match at Oblivion against Justin Lupe for both the United title and the World title. Then he's got Gat, Gat, Hat Gat, Hatred, and Kenshiro at Gate. Gat, Hatred, and of course, he's got Kenshiro at Gateway to Heaven. At this point, I gotta ask, how much more is he willing to put himself through? That's the big question. He is he has stated multiple times that he is he will gladly play the hero. Oh, where is he doing? Hey, what what is Hatchet doing? Oh god, elbow drop. Oh shit oh shit, they're right in front of us. I can see him punching away! I don't know why you can the table right now. I'm not moving. Yeah, you got a point. I'm getting out of here. I'm moving back here. Thank God for Bluetooth. Look, I'm not standing no table with those two. With these two? With, with this? With this? With this jackass? Hell no! Just stomp it away. I remind you, those are military boots. Not wrestling boots. Those are combat boots. Ever stop to make even more brutal. It's even more brutal. It is even more ruthless. Oh god. Oh no, not again. Jesus! This is a message that Ch that Chris McClain will do wherever he damn well pleases outside of D DCA, and he will gladly use Chef Hatchet as a as a um, way to make a statement. And now look at this. Chef Hatchet is just carrying Big Kid like he's nothing! Jesus Christ! Unfortunately, Hit Kid is nothing to him. It is. He's, like you said, he outweighs him by over 200 pounds! Little, 
Oh my god, he's literally using him as no he can literally use him as nothing more than training weights. Jesus Christ, Suplex throw. Falcon around is completely manhandling hatred. He is literally he, this is literally a slaughter, and you know the the asshole cunt known as Chris McLean is laughing at all of this. Remember, Chris banned Needham from interfering in this match, so there's nothing. Yeah, Needham has got to literally, literally. I don't think even I don't think Needham's even in, in the building. Yeah, if he, yeah, ah, oh, oh they, they can block. Yeah, because if Needham tried to, he, he would throw the match, and there it goes. Basically, he had to have it had to have his brother suffer just so he can get his hands back on Hatchet for payback from Revelations. Again, I will ask, how much more suffering are these two willing to endure just to get yeah. the like they want? Yeah, and you have to remember, remember, Needham had to take the next. E Next aftershock back in on Manchester, to on Manchester. I think that's aftershock 52. Well, well, his kid's got to do deal with this shit. So right now, I'm betting right now he is like, he is he is paranoid beyond belief, knowing what's happening to his brother. Oh God! They don't really have a choice. Jesus Christ, backbreaker. Like you said, Roman, this dude is seven foot two, three hundred and ninety pounds of just military trained animal. Oh god, oh, he's got the claw. Oh, he's got the claw. He is literally squeezing on Hickett's head. He is trying to literally squint crush his skull. This 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 ugly. Ugly and it's and it's and it's made loud and simple and clear. I to from from Chris McLean. Once I'm done destroying your brother, I end your career. And you have no one to blame but your sad self. Then how far is how far are these two willing to go? Again, she you nearly avoided those steel steps. Luckily but knowing him. Chef, I think he was trying to aim. Luckily for him, those steps are way too close to the ring, so... And Not a good well, saving glitch. Yeah, but I think oh, Chef Hatchet oh. knew that! Oh, he just bitch slapped him! That ain't really... What? That's a frying pan to the head! Literally, it was a frying pan! You know what? Ah, I'm a sledgehammer! A no hold bar, a no hold bar is out of This monster is a god. Jesus Christ, the height on that Uranaki. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, um, it, remember, like I said, this is direct orders from Chris McLean. Take out, take out Hit Kid, and then take out James. And then we won't have to worry about the needles. This is eerie vibes for a certain show where another commentator ended up eating some steel steps. Mm -hmm. Granted, those were under happier circumstances, but this... This is not it. Hick is trying it to fight back with a kendo stick. Like, like he said, like I said, Hit Kid will gladly go down swinging if it means that he can get James one step closer to finally getting rid of Chris. Calvert. Not even a one, just a one count. Not even a one. Now, safe to say, whenever we get to end it, oh no, 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 no! no. There is no getting the end game if you get dropped on some steel steps like that. 
Chris, like I said, Chris McLean's orders are simple. Eliminate the Needles. It starts with it, then it goes to James. Then we can rule DCA without any threats. I mean, or or these rules. Oh, Jesus! Then I need! One, two, Two off a of dead eye knee. Go, continue. Chris knows his job in his DCA. Hey, he knows that. Yeah, because not only is his contract ironclad, but he's got, but he is also getting help from the from the blood trail. Not to mention the board of directors that don't exactly see what's wrong. So even if no. he will want to do something, he can't. No, unfortunately. Unfortunately, what Chris is doing is what he wanted. He wanted the chaos so that so that he can up, so that he can have give DCA more ratings, which means more money. Jesus. Maybe the match at Endgame will be able to put it, put an end to it, but that would depend on Needle getting past the board of directors. Again, board of directors are stubborn. Trust me, I know this is a little too. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you like a member of the board? No, no. Yes, but they also tried to bring in Gnarly. So that was fun to deal with. Oh yeah, and, re and remember, at the at Endgame, it could be either either Needham finally gets his hands on on Chris in an official match, or it's the end of James Needham in virtual wrestling. Oh no. Jesus Christ! Oh, he's not done! Double tap! Triple tap! This is basically borderline torture. We can't do anything about it. Not again. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's so far. One, two. It, what, what, why? Yeah, I get I get your bravado, but sometimes you need to learn to state when to state out, man. It would actually be it would actually be a benefit that it was over quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna affect your you're gushing like a pig. And again, it has always been a stubborn one, so. Oh, he's in with James. Governess runs in the Needham family. Oh, well, no. he's supposed to get planted to that table. Yes. Oh, no, I hit that I hit that ladder! Again, sometimes he it's right. rescue. Sometimes it's rescue. It did hit the ladder. Needham. Oh, no. Why? Why not? Of course. Well hit. Yeah, yeah, you have to check. That was the first stupid move Hatchet's done all match. That says a lot. Man, what is he? What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to fly here. Oh, he got it. You only got to You only got to You gotta go all out, otherwise. Mostly all Hatchet. Hick has been trying to fight here. Give him credit for that. Hatchet just gonna throw Hick in the barricade. Oh, oh, it's gonna close him and drop. Now, what? Oh, he's got the step. And what has he got planned? To, oh no. Jesus! What in between the eyes? I understand wanting to fight, but I also understand that you got to think of now Hatchet back to what he's been doing all match, just toying with Hit Kid. Hit Kid has got to think the long term here. God! How much is he beating worth the trouble? Look at look at Hit Kid's face. He is literally gushing blood, and it's I'm coming out of his left. Out of his eye! Oh, 
I don't think it's more so blood coming out of his eyes. It just seems there's so much blood it's beginning to cover his sight. now? Oh, I have a bad feeling. I know exactly what he's doing. Yeah. He's, yeah, he, this is what Chris stated when he said you want to hit kid with join his girlfriend on the MIA list. Because we haven't oh, seen Mario Ponce for a match with Carmen. Unfortunately, hit kid may actually be on his way to join us. Oh, you're not again oh. on the timing table. It stay down. Seriously, stay down. I'm telling you this. If somebody wants to see you actually get past a lot of this you're dealing with right now. This is over. Just just end the match for the love of God. Hatchet. Done what you needed to do, Hatchet. Hatchet. Your point is me Oh god. No, no, you want yeah, of course. He wants to send more punch. Oh no. No, 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 no! Your, your point proving. This what is uh, without a doubt the literal execution of Hit Kid Worldwide by the orders of one Chris McLean. Good lord! Oh my god, her head's head! It's done. It's done. And the match hatchet, you done what you needed to do, you fucker! Now, now what? There we go. Right you know what? Sure. That's a, you know what? I know it's not. A, I, it has a name. Hatchet Driver. I'm not even gonna dignify it by giving it a name. Now for the finish. That's good. That's it. Look, look at the room. Jeff Hatchet's done what he needed to do. He sent a message loud and clear. I'm in game and finishing what I started back at, Reve uh, back at Revelation. I'm ending you like I did your brother, and I'm doing and I'm doing the world of Even the enemy environment, once again, when he is at war with the world, and unfortunately, the world would have been ended way earlier, but no, Hatchet had a mission. Number one now. Water annihilation. This that power bomb onto those steps. And he wanted to make damn sure. Not only with one on the back, but on the head. And then the second power bomb is entirely Most of the people are going makes me sick to my stomach. Action has this one minute into the line. We just kept it going. But I'm done. I'm done. I've done what I needed to do. I wish you all a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. The only thing I remember myself. I'm sorry you had to see this. I'm still I'm saying leave it up to you. Chris McLean, your day of judgment is coming. What? Jay Peter finishes off hit to an end game. He's coming. Well, I believe Chris cut him off. Which I was surprised to admit, man. Had to send a very, very dry message to his little brother. He's getting in my way. He's going to find out. The consequences quite outweigh what he's going to do. Get out of here. The Roman Bedlam for myself, Robin McNichol. Thank you so much for watching this slaughter. Have a happy holiday. A Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah.